Welcome students. This is going to be a demonstration of the quickest way to do some of the more complicated problems presented in Cengage. Here we are in our home screen where you've got your assignments that are due. Now I'm going to come over here to assignments that I can practice because as you know I put everything out there that's available in practice. So I'm going to come down here to one of the more complicated ones. Let's go to chapter 4, uh, end of chapter exercises. So I'll click on that. Start the assignment. There we go. So I'm coming down here to 4-12. Okay, now I've mentioned before in another demo on this uh, type of exercise where you have three different views or currently in this view we highlight the ones that we want to bring out and work with we come over to this far right one and that puts them in a horizontal full screen width format okay now the problem with this is that your data is up here and you get the data to come and enter it here and it's just up and down and up and down and we don't want to do that so this is my suggestion, and especially when you're taking quizzes and timed exams in particular, this is the way to go. So I'm going to come up here to the upper right here, and I'm going to click on an, and minimize this screen so that I can force the size on the screen. And I'm going to come over to my Word document, and I'm going to do the same thing and reduce the size of the Word document. Move that over. Okay bit wider. There you go. So now I have my Word document here. So now I have my screenshot utility on this computer. I know the Macintosh has some alt, some command keys. That they can do the same thing. I'm using gadwin.coms and it shows right over here. It's a little sidebar here. If I click on it, see there's my screen capture. But I can just do a control print screen and then I'll grab this data here that we don't want to have to scroll up to anymore and copy it right over here into this Word document. Then I come down here. Now the chart of accounts we don't really need because we have all the account names right here. So I'm going to capture that, the labels for the financial statements. Copy that, take that over here. So now I have, see I've got all my data here. Now I can come down. Here's my assignment. So now I can come in here. I can start the assignment. But you see how easy it is to do this financial statement when you have your data table immediately there on the right and you don't have to scroll up to it to get the information. Right? So that's the tip. What you do is you get your Word document on your computer. You've got your Cengage now on your computer. You get them sized so that you can have them side by side. And you just, you know, when you're done with this problem, you just delete these, these uh, screenshots and, and go to your next problem. And just work your way through all of your assignments with this side by side format. So there you go. There's the demonstration I have for you on how to, to do these problems the easiest and quickest way.